Jason here, Blood Church, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. I'm going to deal with something that I think the world does often today. And it's the, it's the idea that the world tries to say, since, since God created us all, then we're one with God. Humanity is, you know, is created by God and therefore we're accepted but the assumption is then that we're out, you're automatically going to be accepted by God and not judged by God or that you don't have to be saved spiritually to to be one with God and I find that's a you know an argument that that you, the humanity likes to make today and it's one that's very flawed we're going to take a look at that today of course here on, on the channel so taking a look at Acts chapter 17 uh, we'll look at verse 28. For in him we live and move and have our being. So this is one of those verses that people will use. Um, you know, to sort of say that we live in him and we move and we have our being from him. Which is, which is correct. I mean, he did create our bodies. He did create all of us. And he, did, he did create the blood that's in us and he breathed life into us. But the liberals and, and, the, and, and, the, and the New Age people uh, individuals want to use the, the idea for this verse as a proof text for the fatherhood of God and the brotherhood of man, essentially, if you want to call it that. Um, but this verse did not say that God was anybody's father, it's just that he created us. In order to say that God is, that anybody was God's son in a spiritual sense, the word used is offspring and, um, yeah, you know, there at the end of the verse, for we are also his offspring. The end of verse twenty-eight, and um, you know, no man is you know no man is in God spiritually until the Holy Spirit resides in him by receiving um, you know the gospel of truth. First Corinthians fifteen one through four. As we then we become the body of Christ in a new birth, which you can see at, at 1 Corinthians 12, 13. Let's go over there. 1 Corinthians 12, uh, verse 13. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jew or Gentile, whether we be bond or free, and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Amen. So you can see here truly... You know, the only way to be spiritually connected and spiritually a son or a son of God would to be through the Lord Jesus Christ and his salvation in First Corinthians fifteen, one through four, accepting that the uh, the blood of Jesus Christ is the only way and through a man, not through a religion or not through spirituality or not through a you know, connection with God in terms that he created us, are we saved and are we one with the Lord? So, you know, really this verse in, in, in Acts seventeen twenty eight is just really saying that everyone is God is is in is everyone is in God you know in terms of geographically speaking um, because God fills the he heaven and the earth you can see that at Jeremiah twenty three twenty four but spiritually speaking a lost sinner is truly without Christ is truly without hope is truly without salvation in this day and age called the church age and it's something very important to not get caught up in. And to believe that you'll be accepted by God just because he created you, physically created you, but you need to be, again, the, the distinction is to be a, a son of God is to, and to be really a child of God um, is not because you're born of God, it's rather because you spiritually have a new birth, a second birth, when you receive the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit within you. So again... You know, it, it's apparent if you look at verse 29. For as much then as we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the Godhead is like unto gold, silver, or stone, graven by art or man's devices. So this is when Paul was talking to the Greeks. That's why it brings up the graven images, because they have a lot of them that they that they uh, that they put up temples and, and buildings for. But in terms of, you know, our relationship has nothing to do with man's. Um, our relationship with God has nothing to do with man being created essentially right it, it's, it's, it's whether we're born again or not and um, because it, before you become saved 
although you were an offspring of God in terms of being created, you are the, you're still one of the children of disobedience. You can see that in Ephesians 2.2. 2. And the children of wrath, which is also in the book of Ephesians uh, chapter 2, verse 3. And according to the, um, the two verses we just read here, 28 and 29 in Acts 17, Uh, Jesus Christ adds um, that these same children that don't accept him are the children of the devil in John 8 44 and children of hell Matthew 23 15 and so we have an open invite to repent and to turn our, our, our ways away from being a children of, of the devil a children of disobedience a children of the, and being just a carnal carnal creation of God which is is no closer to God um, at all than you know other than we were just an offspring of God but to be born again and to be saved and to, to spend eternity with God and to and to be able to rise above the solar system and the galaxy and up into the third heaven someday we must be saved by the blood of Jesus Christ if you're not saved get saved today you want to be an you want to be a spaceman you ever dreamed of dreamed of going to outer space you will if you become saved you you want to you want to live in streets of gold and have crowns and a robe and rule over cities in the millennial kingdom, uh, when Jesus Christ rules on the earth, you will if you become saved. Become saved today by the blood of Jesus Christ. Believe with your heart, confess with your mouth to salvation that Jesus died on the cross, and only only like God could do, um, conquered death and, and resurrected Himself three days later, and. Um, he did that because we have a sin problem. One sin alone, one thought, is enough to damn you to hell because uh, God is perfect and cannot be with sin. And, and, and he did the ultimate reconciliation and sacrifice of um, his own beloved son who was perfect and shed his blood for you. Accept that free gift today. One saved, always saved by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless and have a great day.